We're live at Skin and B. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Baron Bristlejock, Georgia. The Ork Dork cheering section is already in the spirit of things I can see. They've already dismembered the opposing team's mascot. <laughs> Nicely done, great fans. Did you know that being an NFL mascot is the leading cause of death for overqualified college graduates? The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Crux and Skull Jugulars battle the Yorks at Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was the police state block in the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. <laughs> he refused. Man, oh, man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet at crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, you're telling me. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John, in here. For a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. You can't keep a good mutant. And he gets three yards on that run. Bingo, bingo, I just hit that mutant, bingo. And all I was missing was his number. Talk about luck! Uh, 
Second down and seven. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of this whole first down. He was knocked boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. And he's off to the races. The 20. The 10. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. <laughs> First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's I know how said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps upside trying to mutilate the QB. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit 5. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 30. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. <laughs> First down and one. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, is lukewarm. And he's proud of that. See it. At least the mortician did. Yep. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants.
And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and more than the QB would like. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Gonna shave a few days off his life. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. really a violent game guys the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore uh, the funeral expenses that is and that'll be second and eight to go First quarter, this one looks like a rout. Someone give me a beer. And that'll be second. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And that 
that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, is anybody? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> Lots of blood and guts spilled in this game. The Orcs of Hazard pulverize the opposition and win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game, too. Oh, 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 well, how about if you know what? Rhinoceros... You know what? Take your medication and sit down. Let's go down to the field and hear what the MVP has to say. Don't expect too much, folks. Garbage in, garbage out, you know? They don't call them garbage barge for nothing. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...